to my channel Gabba Bedek. So as you can see, I'm in a different setting than normal. I'm actually back home in Ireland and I had an idea for a video, so I thought I would film it here. If you watch my other videos, you'll see that I use the Freestyle Libre 2, which is how I monitor my blood sugar. I have it on here, just under my jumper there. But I haven't used this for very long. I've probably used the Freestyle Libre 2 for about a year now and Freestyle Libre in general for about two years. So it's still relatively new to me in comparison to the 13 years that I've been diagnosed with type one diabetes. So I thought since I'm home, all of my old diabetes stuff is in this box for when I was first diagnosed at age 13 in 2008. And I thought it would be fun to show you the progression from like what blood sugar monitors I started off with and then what I changed to until I eventually got to the Freestyle Libre. So I thought I would go through them and show you them. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you're new here. But we're gonna start first with my oldest blood sugar monitor and then we'll go from oldest to the newest, which will be the Freestyle Libre 2. All right, so I've just taken some stuff out of that box and you could see that I have a lot of monitors. So there's my Freestyle Libre 2. Obviously I have one on now, so that's gonna be the next one. And then we'll come on to that, which if you've seen my other videos, I do use this as well. But these are over um, 13 years worth of blood sugar monitors because obviously some of them are the same, but obviously some of them broke and got old and it needed replacing. So I have a lot, but um, let's start off with my oldest one first. Okay, so this is a here, my very first one, the Optimum Exceed. And do comment down below if you are still using these blood sugar monitors, because I'd like to know if people are still using them. So I used to have this monitor, and these were the strips. So purple is for ketones, and blue is for blood sugar. And then I would have, oh my god, my finger pricker. The finger pricker would have these lancets that you actually had to screw into here. Basically, you took one from here and they went into the finger pricker and then you pricked your finger. Basically, I would have like this little case. I would take out this, rip off this test strip and insert it into here. And then how this works, if you're newly diagnosed and you only use Freestyle Libre, this will be probably a bit of a shock. This is how the finger pricker used to look. You'd screw in a lancet on the top like so and then you would twist this to take off the tip you can see here the needle will be here on the tip. Put this back on, pick the setting that you want. You pull it back to prime it and listen to the sound. It sounds so bad. You would take your finger then, get it ready. Oh my God, that actually hurt. Then you would prick it and blood would come up and you would put that on the test strip. And then, yeah, when you're finished, you would take it out like that and you'd put this back on. So half the time I would be getting the needle back in my finger, screw it on pull that whole thing out and it was very yeah like that I really wonder are people using these because you know you get used to it when you're using it but now going back to it it seems like a lot of work compared to the way things are now yeah and obviously you would test your blood sugar using the blue ones or if you're doing ketone tests you test using the purple ones so yeah this little optimum one in its little case together was my very first one so it's a trip down memory lane and I used that for like a good few years not this specific one but I had like lots of one lots of the optimum seed that I went through over the years like it's a good little monitor All right that was the first one I used like I said I did use that for a few years <laughs> so it's very weird to look at it now so now I'll show you what I moved on to next, which was a little bit of an advancement. The next one that I used for a few years, I remember, I used to have this Accutech Aviva Nano. I can't actually find it in that box, but this is how it looked. And it was, like, this is true to size. And just to show you in comparison to this one, it was a bit smaller, but basically the same size. I used to I use this one, and this had test strips that came in like a drum. So they weren't individual strips like what you just saw. So you would take your test strip out, now, these are obviously expired, so I'm not wasting them. They would basically look like that when you put it in it. And again, you would prick your finger, get some blood, put it on the strip like that. When I was using this, I wasn't actually using this old finger pricker that you would have seen there. I actually had progressed on. I found a box off it, the Fast Clicks pen. So you would have this drum, and I actually still have some of them today. You'd get one of these and put it inside of the Fast Clicks itself. So there's actually a drum in there. You can see it like that. So you would put it on like that and then you basically would be able to prick your finger by holding this down on your finger and going like that. 
and that will draw the blood and then yeah you will just put your blood up here and take your blood sugar like just comparison of these i do think that there's definitely a progression like you can see the upgrade between the left and the right already in the space of a few years so that was really good i actually did find another random meter this was an accutech compact plus honestly i don't remember even using this i did find a manual for it here and the avivo nano one but does anyone have monitors that they just can't remember even getting like i was probably prescribed this to try but i just don't even remember using it so does it even turn on it doesn't turn on like but it did have the fast clicks pen along the side as well so definitely an upgrade on the lancet and the finger pricker itself but this is a bit bulky compared to the other ones but i see it was trying to move towards like more of like a screen i guess kind of thing but honestly like i don't remember using this at all then i had a new freestyle meter this one here the optimum neo yeah i've just turned on the light because it's gotten a bit dark since but it came in a case like the optimum exceed and it looked like this so it had the monitor itself like that a finger pricker and then it would have had i think the same yeah the same kind of test strips as the exceed so these are blue these are the blood sugar test strips the date on these is 2018 so not too long either so i just liked this one because it was a bit more compact it's way more flat than the exceed but it, the screen if i remember was really dull so i don't know if this one even works yeah oh got something the screen was very hard to read i always found and obviously it's not touch screen or anything like that this one was a bit easier and i did like about this one if you press this button on the side you probably know if you had it, it glow in the dark whereas this didn't have that option and if you have trouble with your eyesight like i did it's hard to read so but i did use this for a good while it worked the same you know you put in the blood test up here and you prick your finger again with one of these finger prickers that i was using before so that would go in like that take the blood out and draw it up so i did use that for a while so i kind of went between those few monitors for a few years but then things really change when the monitor that i use actually now which is the accutech mobile came out i know some people don't like it because they think it's like clunky and hard to use but i actually really love it this box here accutech mobile essentially like you'll see on the packaging you get this which contains 50 test strips put that inside it and it has a built-in finger pricker and that's i think what i love the most this is the one that i currently use test strips are oops, test strips are inside it so you turn it on like this it tells you how many test strips are left it tells you to wash your hands then it says ready for a drop so what i like best is that the finger pricker is built in so you would put your lancets in here go like this prick your finger you could see the blood come out and then test in progress so then the best part then you don't have to take anything out you could just go like that and it moves on to the next lancet which is so much handier than carrot 5.9 which is so much handier than trying to remove a lancet out and like have this big case that you have to use like i would just carry this around like this and it can fit in your pocket like that kind of thing whereas the other ones you have to have a big case carry it around all the time so it just got really annoying so i still use this one now to check when i'm having a low or a high blood sugar and i really swear by it honestly that's my favorite one it's so convenient you can have all of your 50 test strips inside you don't have to open test strips and put them in you don't have to put in a new lancet you can just have it like that and it's really handy for me anyway so then yes i finally moved on to freestyle libra 2 and i did do a freestyle libra review i'll put that in the description down below if you want to watch that but you can see the progression i started off with this and now i've moved to this like this is what i started off with and this is where i am so can you imagine this is only in the space of 12 years so can you imagine in the space of like 25 more years where we'll be at it's really interesting to see um for me like how the technology is advancing so quickly and i can only imagine what the blood sugar meters used to be like before i'd love to do a video where i could use the really old apparatus i'm gonna call it because it was so old for blood sugar machines and compare them to what we have nowadays so i hope you like this video please comment down below what blood sugar meters you're using obviously those ones are specific to ireland i know i live in the uk now but i haven't gotten any new monitors over there i've only gotten all of these over in ireland and the libra 2 in the uk so let me know if it's different for whatever part of the world you live in thanks so much for watching please like the video and subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you in the next video